hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're keeping safe my name is agi and today we're going to be making easy puff puffs so this is a very simple recipe and during these hard times you're going to need just a few ingredients which makes it really ideal uh, ideal snack to make for your kids in case you don't have money it's going to be really easy for you to make so in case you're not subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button because you'd want to refer to this recipe anytime you want to make these amazing puff puffs and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video so let's get on with the video so you will need two cups all-purpose flour half a cup of ground sugar you can always uh, reduce or add you'll also need one tablespoon of instant yeast in case you're going to use the dry yeast you'll first have to uh, make it grow by putting it in a little bit of warm water and sugar but for instant yeast we just have to mix it directly with the flour a uh, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg you can always alternate it with whatever you like if you like cinnamon you can always add cinnamon or if you don't have any of these you can just uh, go ahead and just mix your flour without it and one cup of warm water so the first thing I'm going to do is to add the grounded sugar to my flour. You can always grind sugar if you don't have the grounded sugar. And then I'm going to add in the yeast. And then I'll add in my nutmeg or cinnamon, whatever spice that you have. And then I'm just going to give it a good mix until it's nicely combined. So the next thing I'm going to do is make a small well at the center of the bowl. And then I'm gonna add in my water and just give it a good mix until everything is nicely combined you want to mix it until you're not able to see any flour standing out of your mixture or your butter and your butter has to be not runny and not too hard so you can see the consistency in the video So the next thing I'm going to do is to cover and keep it in a warm place and let it rest for about 35 minutes. So at times if you're in a hurry and you want your butter to rise really fast, what you can do is always warm up your oven and then you turn off the heat and then you can always place your bowl with your mixture inside the oven so that, you know, it's going to be warm enough. The oven is very warm so your butter will rise very, very fast. This is just a hack I'm giving you guys. So after 35 minutes you can see our dough is nicely risen so the next thing you will have to do is just to mix it and what you're going to get is a really nice and stretchy dough it's not runny it's really nice and stretchy so we're just gonna give it a good mix just to get out the air that has been accumulating when the dough is rising so just give it a good mix just one thing on my mind. So the next thing I'm going to do is to heat up oil and when you want to make puff puff make sure you have enough cooking oil you want to deep fry them and not shallow fry them and make sure your heat is on medium heat you don't want the oil too hot so the next thing I'm going to do is just to scoop the butter with my hands and then I'm going to somehow squeeze my fingers together and just scoop it with a spoon as I'm doing in the video and your spoon if you don't want it to be so sticky what you're going to do is be dipping it in in some cold water or you're going to be dipping it in the oil or you have a cup with oil and then you'll be dipping your spoon as you scoop your puff puff this will help the dough not to stick on the spoon So after the scooping now what you're going to do next is just to keep turning your puff puff you're going to be turning them so that they're evenly cooked so that they're nicely brown cooked all round I don't even know how to explain this you're just going to be turning and flipping until your puff puff is ready as you can see mine are now ready you're going to place them in a bowl with 
which is lined with uh, paper towels just to drain off the excess oil. So we're going to repeat the same process with the rest of the dough just to show you how to scoop your puff puff in case it's your first time and you don't know how to do it. I hope that this is going to be of help to you. At least you're going to learn by watching this so many times. So we finished frying our last batch of puff puff as you can see they're nicely cooked they're really nice and soft on the inside and nice and crunchy on the outside this is a really good snack that you can make for your kids and they don't really require a lot of ingredients during these hard times some of the ingredients are really hard to find and sometimes you want to make something really nice for your kids this is a really good recipe that will help you make something for your kids to at least enjoy with a nice cup of tea or a cold glass of juice guys if you're not subscribed to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button because you'd want to refer to this amazing puff puff recipe and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified anytime i upload a new video and don't forget to share this recipe because you might not know who really needs it share with your friends and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i really do hope to see you guys in my next video happy cooking guys <laughs>